His fingers are flying across those keys. Music to your ears in the unlikeliest of places by the unlikeliest of people. Wait till you see who's creating this wonderful sound. Volunteers are an important part of any hospital. They help doctors and nurses, and more importantly, they help the patients. First of four, how one piano prodigy has become part of the healing process for people at one Southwest Florida hospital. The names Ludwig von Beethoven and Frederick Chopin aren't names one usually associates with a hospital, but at a place known for healing and sometimes heartbreak, there's always room for a friendly tune. NBC2's Paul Gessler introduces us to a gifted volunteer who reminds us why we are all in for the mood for a melody. If hospitals can wear on one's soul, surely music can heal it. Music to their ears. In this case, the doctor prescribes piano. We were on our way to the mall. There is talent in his tune. To tell you the truth, the first time I saw him, I thought it was the player piano. <laughs> he is so gifted, you've got to take a double take and say, am I really seeing this? Eyes show you one thing. I think he's doing all of this by memory, which is blows my mind. Ears register another. Uh, his fingers are flying across those keys. Blows my mind. It's a God-given gift. There's certain comfort in these chords. I love the fact that he wears a bow tie. While this pianist can barely reach the pedals, he plays with all the heart an 11-year-old can muster. 11, I can't get over that. He's, he's wonderful. I wish this kid was my grandson. <laughs> Noah Waddell has only been playing piano four years. The product of two rather musically tone-deaf parents. I can't find middle C. In many ways, Noah is your typical kid. He plays basketball with his older sister, who up until recently usually wins. Yes! We had competition between each other, and I wanted to win that competition. Needless to say, Noah found his niche. He spotted the piano and said, Dad, can I play the piano? He routinely outplays older kids at competitions. Oh, it's a beautiful piano, but I never hear anyone playing it. Last year, while Noah's family was visiting a friend at Health Park Medical Center, the virtuoso spotted a vacant piano. And they were probably expecting, you know, twinkle, twinkle or something, but they agreed. To see him play like, like he does is just totally unbelievable. Now he volunteers every week. Fridays at 4 are high time for healing. Oh, he put me happy now. Patience, old and new, watch. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, he's going to be another Liberace. <laughs> the legend of Noah's notes precede him. I took off work to come, to come take a look at this. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so much so. That's a little uh, unusual. He now signs autographs, even in the strangest of places. Noah does mess up, though you wouldn't know it. You can always improve on, a, on the piano, on every piece. I have to take piano lessons, so I was really... Which might just be what separates apprentice from prodigy. From his fast fingers to eager ears, Noah's weekly crescendo... You're a champion. <laughs> ...soothes the soul. Very nice. Paul Gessler, NBC2. Good job.